say enough is enough. Before I go further, Yamalanda, Yamalanda, Nanigirigi, Kurilidi, Manangay. Welcome to Nanawal country and justice for Elijah. Come with us and stand with us. And let all your politicians know that this has, has come to an end. And the benefit for the benefit of all Australians. You cannot go around the world preaching human rights and freedom and liberty when you have continued to enslave a whole race of people here in Australia. That is no longer acceptable. It should not be acceptable. If you go home in the evening and have your meals and that and feel good, just think for a little while. If that happens, Elijah was one of my children. How would I feel? I'd be a bit pissed off. I'd be angry. I'd be pissed off at the system. I'd be pissed off at everything that comes under the banner of Australia. But I'm urging Aboriginal people also not just about blind anger. We have our place here in this country. And if we just come together ourselves as a people, Australia will not ignore us. But we do not just want them to react with fear all the time. Come and join us, Australia, because our cause is just. Our cause is real. It is not a fantasy. It is not happening in another country. It is happening under your doorstep. It is happening right in front of you. Stop turning a blind eye all the time, Australian. Practice what you preach. And it is liberty that we want. We want our own freedom. And we want some controls over our own lives. And I don't think we're asking for too much. We can make it happen. If you believe. If Australians come with us and stand with us for a little while. Have your comforts. Have your wealth. We don't want it. We just want to be able to live with a little bit of freedom. And we want to be stopped, to be judged by vigilantes in this country. Because vigilantes have been killing Aboriginal people for far too long and getting away with it. They have killed hundreds of thousands of us. And Elijah Doherty, the way he died, is just an example of it. And it's just an example of the indifference that too many Australians have towards Aboriginal people. There was, there was a woman in America that was shot by the police. Again, there was outrage. Again, when it happens to Aboriginal people, nothing is said. There was a young man from where I come from. The police had gone to his home even though they weren't looking for him. Unfortunately, he's been taught not to trust the police, so he ran. He had a stick in his hand. He also threw the stick down and put his hands up they still shot him in the back. That's what we're talking about. We want that to stop. He surrendered. And Elijah is only a 14-year-old boy, still learning, still developing, in the sense his mind has not fully developed to the mind of an adult know what right and wrong is. But it, what he suffered, he should not have suffered. And it should not have cost him his life, especially in the circumstances that they have. Too many of our young people, there was TJ Hickey in Redfern that was run down the by, by the police. Too many of our people die in police custody and in the, 
criminal justice system in Australia. Where's the justice in that? A sentence of three months here in Australia could be a death sentence for Aboriginal people. We want it to stop. We wanted to bring it to an end. And we asked all Australians to make it happen. Because the power is in your hands. And you cannot continue just to walk around and pretend it doesn't happen. Just like in Germany, when the Nazis were slaughtering the Jews, the German people were pretending that it was not happening and they were not involved in it. Well, your silence endorses it. You cannot remain silent, Australian. It's time to speak up and stand up and be counted. And come and join us. We will put the hand of friendship out and we will say welcome to you. Welcome to our country. Welcome to our lives. Am I asking too much? Thank you. I'll step back into the back into the shadow. Ourselves as parents in our country. 